doing come on in come on in the room come on in the room come on in the room that's what we tell everybody now to come on in <laughs> tone what's up man yeah hey what's going on sam Everything i got the uh, super tone in here doing his thing and we're gonna read this letter here in just a bit and uh tristan you want you want to say something too huh absolutely all right, so uh, welcome to the show. 888 is the number. 888 409 We inside a reality hour, real people, real life situation. Give you a two cent, your take. I am tripping on today's letter. I'm going to uh, jump right in and read it and then um, get your, your take and your two cent from it. Oh, so Sunday we're at the uh, Cleveland Improv for the All White Affair. All oh, White Affair. Nice. All White Affair. It goes down every year. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Folks coming in from the Natty, coming in from Columbus. Uh, we got we inviting the whole city coming out. We we doing it real big. And then um, Improv, where you get your tickets. Three hot DJs, live band. Uh, it's gonna be crazy. Hip hop, R and B, all music. We getting it down. Grown just, and sexy. Grown and sexy. So you can get your, t- your tickets at Six Chicken and Fish. You can also get your tickets over at uh, the Improv Box Office, WZAKCleveland.com or SamSukerTheWide.com. You can get tickets. All right? All right. Are you ready to, to dive into this? Yes. Splash. All right. Dear Sam, I have been with my wife since we have been in high school. We are in our 50s now, and our kids are grown. Over the years, we have both gained weight. We have tried different diets, and we work out, but, you know, my wife, (laughs) that was once like a Coke bottle, was now like a gallon of milk. (laughs) He started something right there. I love her, but I'm not attracted to her physically anymore. I went out the other night and just play flirty around. This young tender slipped me her number. I was honest and told her I was married and probably said a little too much to her. But she said she was cool with us, you know, just being friends. And we, you know, fooled around a little after. She gave me a special kiss. What'd that mean? Special. Yeah, it was special. I know I shouldn't call her but i don't know what to do about the situation with my wife she is an awesome woman i just don't find her sexy what should i do bruh Mm. bruh you don't call your wife you don't tell her that (laughs) she's a gallon of milk no never ever all right You, you, you you don't do that now you said you both have gained weight my question is have you lost any weight? Probably the next not. question is, are, is she still attracted to you? She probably is. You know, women are attracted to more than just physical. Yeah. But let me explain, bro. Believe it or not, people going to fall in and out of love. You said you love her. Mm-hmm. And just because she gained, just because people gain weight, people people will fall out of love or not attracted to people they don't, and weight don't have nothing to do with it. It could be attitude. Right. You can let yourself go. Mm-hmm. It can be many different things. But I feel you need to start figuring out how to date your wife again. Because that young girl that you met, granted, it's fun now. <laughs> right. But that's only for a little while. Short term. Yeah. Your take on it, Tom. Hey, I say like this. You got to look at your wife the same way you looked at her when you first met her. Mm-hmm. It's hard to do because you get emotions be tied in or what you're mad about, this mad yeah. about that. Yeah. But you have to just... Look at your wife with new eyes because if you don't, some young man will. Yeah. So yeah. you know, and and plus that two lead, that that two gallon of milk, so it's all right sometimes. Though. Yeah. It's not too you know I don't even like pop like yeah. that. <laughs> that milk be around as long as it don't spoil. It's just around for you. 
<laughs> so he needs to really take yeah. care of his wife because yes, a young man showed sure enough will. Young, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you be looking crazy. Mm -hmm. And yeah. these new girls don't want to cook. So I'm sure his wife oh, probably oh, take oh, care oh, of them oh, and everything. We say, we say to the new, the the new, new women. Girl, yeah, the new women, they look good. They don't want to They young. Cook. They young. They want to cook, take care of home. They young. They, they want to have fun. So what you rather do, have a young, nice-looking girl to have fun or this two gallons of milk that take care of home? <laughs> <laughs> Tristan, real quick, what you got on your mind? What I got on my mind is, what is this dude really thinking when he's trying to upgrade from a woman that he's no longer finding attractive to somebody that he's trying to get on the side and for him to call his wife, whom he had loved for many years, a gallon of milk? Yeah. I mean, what's wrong with just finding somebody attractive on the inside? I mean, since when is... Being attractive on the outside so important. Well, it is important. You, you, outside, it physical yeah. is important. We we have to be honest. Right. Uh, and many a times, men and women let themselves go. Mm -hmm. And if you love him or her, I think it's best that that you do the the right things to help. Like beyond weight. So, like, let's say if you have uh, uh, high blood pressure, mm -hmm. diabetes, stuff like that. That's true. All that stuff comes into play. So, so, so your significant other needs to kind of help you with that as well. Yeah. So this is a continuing type thing. See, people get caught up in just weight. Do you know you got people who are, who are uh, healthy? Seriously. Yeah. Do you know you got people who are what we may call the perfect weight? But unhealthy inside. They're very yeah. unhealthy inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very unhealthy inside. So so with them still living that type of lifestyle and yet they putting this in the body and, and they overdoing it, you're still messing up your body. Right, and you're also messing up your mind yeah, and spirit. Yeah, but Sam, yeah. I like to dip my Oreos in milk. Yeah. I'm going to dip my Oreo in that milk. I ain't going to dip it in that soda. Yeah. Well, I do that same thing, too. I'd rather have Oreos in milk than soda. I mean, yeah. that would just be tacky. <laughs> so, so, so what's your take? What's your take on it? Triple eight four zero nine zero nine three one, and and uh, we didn't do workout Wednesday today because I, I had a meeting to go to. But that is something good that you all can do together. Do a challenge together. When well, you guys got a challenge, you know what I'm saying of the week. This is your life lone partner that you decide to be with, and if weight is the only thing that's going that that that's the issue, bro, you can work on that. Amen. Yes. <laughs> You can work on that. I mean, for I real. My, I hope my wife don't leave me because I love me a burger, too. <laughs> <laughs> I love a burger, too, but I think it's got to be in moderation as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. CL says, we have both gang weight. If he faults his wife, it makes it easier to live with his own foolishness. She just may feel the same way. Look out. What's up, Coco? What's up, Ray? Yeah. So, so what's your take on that, family? What's up, Lisa? How you doing? Yeah, like, and, and again, if you have a real conversation, you may come to learn that she says, you know what? I'm not really attracted to you either. I've just been trying to hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> I may be just trying, just trying to hang in there. All right? So uh, let me go to some of these comments. My goodness, this one is over 2, 218, and this one's 95. All right. You may not be attracted to her anymore, uh, Either, but that's not a reason for you to give another woman your number. You don't know what that woman's intention is. She's probably looking for money. Mm -hmm. Work things out with your wife. Don't, don't be dumb and make the wrong move. Amen. All right. Uh, what's up, Sanford? He says, my brother, you, he says, my brother, are you serious? What should I do? Kick your, <laughs> kick your butt and go sit your ass down somewhere? You probably ain't attracted anymore either. <laughs> Comment of the day, Sam. James, I'm going to tell you like this. She finds faults in you. And fat girls do the most blanking. Oh, so boy. you need to take <laughs> care of home. <laughs> if you don't want, if you don't like fat, you don't like sugar because they both sweet. Thick thighs save lives, my brother. <laughs> what? What? Come on. All right. Uh, Miss Kim, sit your butt down and help your wife get <laughs> get fit because I'm quite sure you need to work on yourself as well. You all you already started cheating with 
that conversation you had with the young lady. Slippery slope. Aisha Curry did the same thing then, huh? Huh? Aisha Curry did the same thing then, huh? <laughs> See, they always want to jump on us, boy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what well, Steve Golden says, I want to punch this dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Ebony says scumbag. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. Like, like really? Uh, okay. Uh, again, the number is triple eight four zero nine zero nine three one. We could take some more calls in a minute. How dare you? After she's given her life to you and mangled her shape, bearing your children, and now she's a gallon of milk to you. Instead of embarrassing her, dude. <laughs> Do her the honor of leaving. And when that young tender gets done using you, then maybe since we'll return. But that good woman won't be there waiting. I bet you she wrote it just in that same tone. Yeah. I bet you that. <laughs> and what happens if that young tender ends up gaining weight herself? Exactly. You love your wife? Join a gym with her and both lose weight. Lose that baby girl before you have to pay child support for 18 years and alimony. Wake up. Yeah. To the phone. Sam Silk, what's up? Sam. Yeah. Am I the only one who watched Tyler Perry movie 8020 rule? <laughs> you gonna give up eighty percent for twenty percent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he better rethink it. Rethink it. <laughs> Have a good one, Sam. You too. Sam Silk show, what's happening? Hey, what's happening, Sam? You got it. Come on, talk to me. I made a comment, but I'm going to read it to you, what I said. All right. Why do you, why do you feel it was necessary to stay a young tender? Yeah. Why? Because you're not happy with the man you see in the mirror also. So how do you think your wife feels? She most likely doesn't find you very sexy as well. But you being the weakest link in the marriage, you have to go out and get your ego stroke and whatever else. But your wife can lose that weight, and you will lose, you will lose. Wait. Yeah, just, just, just hold right there. Sam <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sook Show, hello. Show, hello. Hey, what's going on, Sam? You got it, man. You got it, man. Yeah, I wanted to comment about the dude, man. Sam, dude, he needs to get up, man. But before he do that, he needs to get that woman in support. Because if he's cheating on her for something like that, Never heard her. All right. All, All right. right, bro. All right, bro. Later. Yeah. All right. Same Silk Show. Hello. Hey. All right. All right. Yeah. We, we finish up on the calls. But, yeah, you heard it pretty much, man. Y'all need me? Y'all on camera now. It's too late. Say, wave at people. Wave. Say, hey. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, there you have it, man. You tripping overweight. People, people are going to gain weight. You going to gain weight. You said yourself that you're overweight, but you say you love your wife, but you're not attracted to her anymore. But then you met this young girl who's going to eventually gain weight, and she's probably going to mess around with somebody else too. She told you it doesn't matter about you all being married. Y'all mess around and fooled around, and now you try to think, you know, think about kissing her or, or whatever. So. Yeah, yeah, he gained weight, Anani. I mean, yeah, they both gained weight, but he's not attracted to her anymore. In fact, he says she used to look like a Coke bottle, but now she looks like a gallon of milk. Let me... Yeah, the mic is right there. Get either one of these microphones. Either one of these microphones. All right, so I'm going to say something about that. Yeah. If that's his wife? That's his wife. Oh, they've been together, they've been together uh, uh, since they were in high school, and they're in their 50s now. Okay. Yeah. All right now. Y'all been together since y'all was in high school. Y'all in y'all 50s. Yeah. So if you realize that both of y'all gain weight, mm -hmm. do something together to help you lose weight. Yeah. Instead of, you know, oh, I'm not attracted to her no more because she gained weight. Yeah. Well, people change over time and... Just because she gained weight has nothing to do with how she treats you and mm -hmm. how she loves you and yeah. cares for you. So he need to get his life together. Get your life together. Yeah. Yeah. Nani? Um, um, I definitely don't agree with that. He talked to a young tender right now. I mean, she that's okay. right. That's not right. But he kissed her, right? No, no, they kissed. Okay. So well, he's I cheating to her. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. He, he, he did this say don't that. Get big, no worries. Right? Yeah, yeah. 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 We've already said. Yeah. Let me tell you about. <laughs> let me tell you about the young girls. Now, I'm not dissing any of your young girls. All right, I'm not dissing y'all. But some young girls 
Yeah, they bodies and all that stuff. You know, they got it going on. You think about when you was in your 20s again, right? But when they open their mouth and get to talking about some real stuff, and you be like, what the hell are you talking about? No substance, no substance whatsoever. You try to have a real conversation. And guess what they're going to do? They're going to wait on the next bag, the next dude to come with that bag. Right. Have a little fun with him. So, bro, have a real conversation with your wife. Chill out. Chill out, bro. Like today. Get her a wig and a girdle. You'll be straight. Yeah, a wig and a girdle. And a waist trainer. <laughs> yeah. You'll be good. And work out with your wife. Self, self, so good.